Now let's see. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. That's not a word. Of course it's a word. And unless I'm very much mistaken, I think it's going to prove a rather useful one. When trying to express oneself, it's frankly quite absurd To leave through lengthy lexicons to find the perfect word A little spontaneity keeps conversation keen You need to find a word to say precisely what you mean Supercalifragilistic, expialidocious even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Chatting simply grunting would suffice. Although if they'd heard this word, they might have used it once or twice. I'm sure Egyptian pharaohs would have grasped it in a chief. In every single pyramid would burn this hieroglyph. Oh, super calibratialistic, expialidocious. Say it and what animals will not seem so ferocious. Add some further flourishes, it's so rococo kosher. Ha ha. Druids could have come on their mighty monoliths. The ancient Greeks and certain ones have used it in their I'm sure the Roman Empire only entered the abyss because those Latin scholars never had a word like this. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Check your breath before you speak in case it's hydocious. Ah! Pick out those 18 consonants and 16 vowels as well And put them in an order which is very hard to spell Oh, see, I owe you S-U-P-R.